Hi everybody, Dave Winder here. I'm the Assistant Athletic Director for Media Relations with Murray State Athletics. And it's my pleasure to give you a tour, a first look at the new Murray State Hall of Champions. Uh, after a generous gift from former Murray State football alumni, Bob Burton, we now have a place where we can honor uh, what we call the Hall of Champions. Uh, those are the people who were the great student athletes and the great teams that we've had here with Murray State Athletics uh, since the school opened in the 1920s. When you come in here, you're gonna be really amazed at uh, the pictures that we've been able to uh, archive and bring to you, and then also the memorabilia and the hardware that uh, the racers have won uh, over the years. So let's take a look at the uh, Hall of Champions here at Murray State University. The first thing you're gonna see here at the Hall of Champions uh, is our Murray State Hall of Fame. And I really think this area uh, really pops when you come in. Uh, we've even got the 2016 class that'll be honored in February. And you can see uh, Ron Green, uh, Terry Love, Kim Kaler, Ashley Nicole Hayes, and Wes Cunningham. And then uh, in the middle there, you see the uh, our Hall of Distinction. And this is an area where we can honor those people um, who have helped athletics over the years that did not fall into the coach or student athlete or athletic director category. Uh, one of the areas that I think really pops in the Hall of Champions is our traditions wall. And I want to draw your attention particularly to uh, uh, Racer One. I just think that's the neatest thing. When I came to school here in the, uh, the mid 80s, I just thought, wow, uh, they're actually running our thoroughbred uh, around the track after a touchdown. So that's one of our traditions that we highlighted. We also took a look back at our past logos and fight song. And then we also uh, paid homage to the Racer Nation, what we call the, the best fans in the country. And we've even got a, a picture here of when uh, Dick Vitale made a visit to campus in 2012. Now the main room at the uh, Hall of Champions um, is a series of what we call display panels. And we've got each sport uh, divided up into sections here. When you come around the corner, um, you're gonna see men's basketball prominently displayed as it should be. And we uh, did this corner for men's basketball in honor of the great Benny Purcell. And we've got a nice little recognition for him. Uh, we've also got uh, uh, one of his uh, All-America warm-up jackets from 1952, which uh, I think that might be my favorite uh, item that's in here. But uh, when you get to the display panels, what we tried to do here was identify those uh, great moments and great championships and great players. And we really felt like um, in men's basketball, we really had to highlight the last two years of the Steve Prohm era because uh, even though they didn't make it to the NCAA tournament, you know, we had Cameron Payne drafted by the Oklahoma City Thunder. They won a CIT championship. And then last season, uh, you know, came within an eyelash, uh, just a crazy last second shot that beat them at Old Dominion for a trip to the Final Four of the NIT. So um, when you get in here, you're gonna be amazed at how many pictures there are to look at and, and stories that go with pictures. I really like this experience because when you come in, uh, the room kind of flows left to right. And you know, once you get into uh, soccer and volleyball, uh, of course volleyball just won a championship last year, and then you get into uh, women's basketball and women's track and field and cross country. Uh, and then you roll right into the football uh, area. It's just amazing when you think back to uh, the many great coaches and players that we've, we've had at Murray State. Uh, these display panels, uh, I'll tell you a little story. We, we just, uh, we agonized over what pictures we could put up because we had to be very selective because Obviously, I had more material than we had room for, but I just tried to bring out the best of the best. It didn't matter if we were talking tennis or golf or baseball. We just tried to give the, the fan an experience when they come in. And the neatest thing about it is when you get to a, a display panel, um, there's a little story that goes with each picture. There's lots to look at on the walls when you come through, and then you'll also notice that uh, every so often in between the display panels, there's uh, lots of memorabilia that's on the walls. And uh, one thing I wanted to do uh, was to use pictures to tell the story because we had so many pictures that didn't make it on the display panels that we felt like could help us tell a story. So as you walk around, you'll see these uh, smaller uh, trophy cases that are on the wall in between the display panels. 
And those are meant to, to show a, a, a trophy basketball or a helmet or uh, some kind of a, a memorabilia that you could look at. It's a smaller space, so you'll see a lot of championship rings. I think that's really neat. I think we've got over 50 championship rings uh, here in the Hall of Champions. So um, there's a lot to look at. Um, there's a lot of little descriptor cards. So, you know, for example, if you see a, a team picture, um, you'll probably see a listing of who's in the picture. So we're really uh, happy about this. Uh, as you go around the room, you're gonna have a great experience here at the Hall of Champions. So now I'm standing in the middle of the main room here in the Hall of Champions at Murray State. Um, as you can see, we've got an enormous uh, amount of display area. Uh, trophies, football helmets, letter jackets, uh, particular items that are unique to a championship. And, uh, we've also got room to grow in here too. It's it's a place that's it's not cluttered at all. So we we really felt like you know to get the Hall of Champions off and started, uh, we do have room to expand, and we will be doing that because I really think uh, as we go along, like I said, this is uh, this is not the end. This is the beginning, and this place is going to be uh, changing as we keep doing great great things. But I want to draw your attention in particular to uh, this trophy case because I'm really. Uh, proud to say that we've got every football helmet that Murray State has worn since they left Cutchin Field in 1972 and then opened uh, Stewart Stadium 42 years ago uh, in 1973. Uh, especially the white helmet here from the one that they were wearing when they left Cutchin Stadium and moved into Stewart Stadium in 1973. Uh, former Murray State football player Cecil Woolburton uh, loaned that to us uh, and I found uh, he had posted that picture on Facebook one day so I, I, I uh, hit him on Facebook and I said Cecil we got to have that helmet and he came through for us uh, so uh, you know everything is here and I, uh, it's just amazing some of the kind of stuff we've got uh, on the bottom down here is the, is the last football championship that the racers won 2002 and I saw Shane Andrus out one day he was giving a kicking lesson at Stewart Stadium and I said hey you wouldn't happen to have that 52 yard field goal ball and he stopped me in mid-sentence he goes I still got it so this ball here is is the one that uh, Shane kicked from 52 yards and if you were there that day it would have been good from 62 and that was the day that the racers uh, beat Eastern Illinois and Tony Romo uh, to win their last football championship the one thing that we really set out to do was those um, one-of-a-kind uh, items and as you go around you'll uh, see some uh, you see one of the sneakers uh, one of the sneakers of a pair that uh, Benny Purcell used to wear when he was a uh, men's tennis coach at Murray State and oh by the way won 10 straight OVC titles in the 1980s I still think that's amazing and then we get into golf and we've got uh, you know Nick Newcomb Patrick Newcomb uh, uh, displayed here uh, including uh, Nick Newcomb's uh, hole-in-one ball that he hit uh, to win the OVC championship in 2008. And then, of course, uh, Velvet Miltman and the women's golf program. Uh, I mean, they've won nine OVC championships, so there's a great area for them. Um, softball is in its uh, infancy, really, when you think about it, uh, for Murray State. Uh, it wasn't that long ago that we, uh, that we started the program. We came up with the idea and announced it in 2008. So. Uh, we've got a few, uh, you know, first hit, uh, first bat, first, uh, first this, first that for softball. And then we get over into the baseball area and that's where you run into uh, the, the fellas who have competed at the big leagues, uh, including Kirk Reeder, who uh, is the winningest left-hander in San Francisco Giants history. And then, of course, uh, we're highlighting uh, one of our greatest all-time coaches, Johnny Reagan. So as you go around the room, you're just going to be amazed at the, the amount of history that's included here at the Hall of Champions. And then finally, I think it's the, the best part about the Hall of Champions. We have uh, three large touch screens, actually four, uh, but one of them in the corner is uh, dedicated to men's basketball. But uh, when people come in, uh, the first thing you're gonna see is just a really good menu here on the left side. Hall of Fame, Academic Achievement, All-Americans, Championships, video and then uh, photo galleries. Now when you walked in you saw the the physical plaques of all the Hall of Fame and Hall of Distinction but when you get to the touch screens if you go to uh, Hall of Fame here 
you're going to be able to uh, see the uh, the plaques, those bronze plaques uh, that we give to the inductees. And then you're going to be able to, just like on GoRacers.com, you're going to be able to sort according to name, what sport they played, and then their induction year. So, you know, whereas over on the wall, you've got, uh, you know, just the plaques. Now here, when you get here, you're going to have a, a profile of each Hall of Fame person. And then uh, we'll have, uh, you know, just whatever photos that we've got of each one. So I'm really happy with that as well. Um, and then we've got, you know, lists uh, as well. We get to academic achievement. Uh, you're going to be able to see, you know, just uh, all those great student athletes who uh, did a great job in the classroom, what sport they played, what year they played, and we just got a headshot of each one. And then um, the racers have uh, have a great championship tradition, and uh, when you get to championships, you're going to be able to sort by sport. And let's just go to baseball real quick. Um, when you get to a championship. You're going to see a photo gallery that you can kind of uh, you can kind of flip through. Uh, we've also got lots of video in here too. This is the the last Murray State uh, baseball championship in 2003, so you'll be able to look at uh, some of the some of the highlights of uh, what they did winning that last baseball championship. And then um, uh, when we get down to uh, photo galleries, you're going to see um, just a lot of pictures of uh, of each. Uh, uh, sport and you'll be able to look at pictures too so again I kind of get back to um, this is just the start when we open up it's just the start because we feel like this whole place is going to evolve and just get better and better as we go along and the final area that you really enjoy uh, visiting here at the Hall of Champions it's basically um, a list of great moments in Murray State history and these are specific dates that we're talking about uh, that you'll be able to go down through here. And, and some of these dates date back to the founding of the university, and some of them are very recent. Um, you know, for example, uh, years ago, Larry Mullen named Murray State's first golf All-America in 1964, all the way up to something very recent, October 9, 2010. The racers scored that amazing 72-59 homecoming win over Missouri State, and you see a picture of uh, Casey Brockman. So we anticipate you see this long row here of great moments. We anticipate as the years go by, these moments stay here and then we start building a, a, either a second row behind it or above it or something. And it just all goes to speak of the, uh, the growth potential that we have for the place. It's really gonna be neat. We're really looking forward to the time you can come and visit the Burton Family Hall of Champions here at Murray State. Now it's located adjacent to the CFSB Center uh, from the front of the building. It's actually a part of the Ray Center, which is uh, where Murray State basketball uh, practice gym and offices are located. And so the Burton Family Hall of Champions, it's right next to Highway 121 here in Murray. So come and see us when you can and enjoy the Hall of Champions at Murray State University.